This has happened before, you know, with KY Computer. Right, Sir Grillalot brought me this awesome ship called the Impero S. It's a really nice ship, small ship. Um, it's got some really nice well it, uh, wedging on it. I really like the pattern on the fuselage at the front section. It's got a very nice sort of razor teeth sort of design to the split hull here in the middle. And uh, obviously we've got this really nice red, little detailings everywhere. The red and the blue contrast really nicely. And this hull detailing here, very nice. So if I come around and look at the engines, I was immediately impressed by the purple in the engines. But then who wouldn't be because <clears throat> awesome. Um, and that was pretty much all I had to say about the exterior because it looks sweet. Uh, then I went and checked out the inside, which is just here. So I'm going to get off again and I'm going to go back inside the ship. And look, here's a door. We're going to go in the door and there's people that came around the ship the first time we looked at it. Most of them have gone home now. Um, <laughs> I, I like these crystal columns. They look awesome. Did I manage to bump your ship with my chair? I did. Anyway, moving yeah, up to so. the core. Look at this core room. It's an epic core room. I do actually really like the uh, detailing around the core that you've done here. Yeah, yeah the yeah, display module is just temporarily no, no, I mean the uh, shape that you've used for the crystal and the wedges there. So it sort of blends in like it's some kind of... Um... Oh, God. What's that thing called? Obelisk. It's like an obelisk. Ah, yeah. Mm, which is pretty cool. Um, but that was a very small interior on this particular ship. Oh, no. <laughs> he fell out. No, it's not a far drop. <laughs> <laughs> and so there it is. So what's the name of the ship one more time? The Impero S-Class. It's a lovely ship, man. I'd like to see more of it and more ships from you. Um, that was built by Sir Grillalot, and he was the last person to make it. There will be another one tomorrow. We're going to be doing more of this style of lineup. We, we've tried mi mixing up the lineup reviews lately, and uh, this is pretty much what we're ending up with. So, um, a little, uh, bit, little bit more I haven't been involved. On, I haven't been on uh, lately on the mushroom. Oh. It's sad about that. Yeah, well, don't worry. I mean, for a while I was so, so many ship reviews, I had to actually stop talking to people. So I'm glad that we can do this again now. Um, so, yeah, awesome, mate. I'd love to come and see your station if you have one as well. So, there we go. So thanks very much for watching everybody. That was the Mushroom Fleet lineup. We will be doing another one of these tomorrow. I'm going to go over here now and give a sneak preview to people because I know that uh, Ethior wanted, to, wanted his ship looked at today. And I was hoping to look at it too and I was surprised when he didn't turn up earlier. But uh, as he says, time zones can be a problem. So here is a sneak peek of Ethiel's submission. Oh, and what was that? Wait a minute. Oh, that's the edge of the sector. Ha <laughs> ha, perfect. <laughs> the, the, uh, we've got the sector on no exit. So as soon as I got near a ship, it was like, Bawr! like I got a little piece of elastic on the back of my desk. <laughs> Look, it's pinged me back at the same speed. That's interesting. We could use that for some mini game mechanics. All right. So there it is, guys. Thanks ever so much for watching. That's the end of the review. Uh, and I will see you all next time.